G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Let's create some metadata and some columns that you can reuse across different libraries and lists in your SharePoint site so that you don't have to recreate it and we get some data integrity uh, and we get some consistency on how we're uh, tagging our uh, or setting values for our documents or our list items. Now, the concept here is we want to create a, a column and we can see on the, the, the screen here, we've got a number of columns added to this training manuals document library. Now these have been added to this specific library, so we can't reuse these. And these are what we call list or library columns. And they're added when we go to add a column with this button in a library or a list, they're specific to that library or that list, and we can't reuse these. So category, subcategory, audience, these are the types of things that potentially could be used on multiple libraries. So let's say we had a policies library in this same, uh, this same site. So if we go to the home page and I create a new document library, and we'll call this one policies, and we'll hit create. Creates a blank library for us. And we, yes, we can add our columns, but again, what we're doing is we're adding columns to this particular and specific document library. I can't, at the moment, I can't use the value or the columns that I've got in my training manuals, which the audience could be a good, uh, a good fit for a column in a policies library, for example. So how do we create that column? Well, we need to create what we call a site column. Now to do that, we can go up to our site information and we go to view all site settings and then under web designer galleries here, we've got two options here. We've got site columns and we've got site content types. So we're focusing on columns. So I'm going to click create uh, or site columns and then I'm gonna create what we call a site column. So let's call this um, target audience. All right, so I'll, t I'll pop this uh, here and we'll create a choice column and we'll, we'll use an existing group here. Uh, I think I've got, no, I don't have a group. So we'll create a group and we'll call this one um, Copilot Site Columns. We'll create a new group. And here is where we enter our choices. So we might say the audience or the target audience is all staff, HR, IT, finance, and legal, let's say. All right, so they're our target audiences and we'll present these in a dropdown. We can set a default value if, if, you, if we want, but I'm going to blank this out and we'll click OK. All right, so now what we've done is we, we've created what we call a site column. Now this site column, as the name implies, is reusable across our site. So we can add this column now to any library or any list, but just within this particular site. So if I now go to uh, our homepage and we will go to policies, and what we can now do is rather than adding a column here, so you can see that we've got the ability still to add our columns, but remembering this is our list, our library columns, and you can see, see all uh, column types and we can create our list column, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna add that column that we just created. So if I go to library settings, more library settings, and then in our columns here, you can see that we can add from existing site columns. So when I click that, I can select my Copilot site columns uh, group and I will click add and I will click OK. So now we've got that target audience column added to our policies library and we can see that we've got that option there. So if I then now go and grab a document and bring that across, we have the ability to set a target audience. So I'll drag and drop a, a document over that's been uploaded. I'll pop into grid view and we can see we've got our choices, okay? And we've got HR. We'll exit our grid view 
and we're good to go. So we could also jump in here and we could format this column. Um, let's choose some choice pills and we'll hit save. So now we've got a little bit of more visual impact for our column. Now, we could do that now to any library, all right? So let's say we go products and I can do exactly the same thing. So I can go to library settings, more library settings, add from existing site columns, and I can go to Copilot site columns, target audience, click OK, and I've got that exact same column now in our products library. And I'll go to edit in grid view, I'll go target audience, and you can see I've got all of the same values that I've got in my policies library, for example. All right, so I'll exit grid view, and let's format this column as well. So we'll go format column, and we'll go choice pills, and we'll click OK. So we've now added that to our products. Now, what if we wanted to add some values, all right, to the, this choice list? So what I can do now is go back to all site settings. I can go back to my site columns now, and if I look for Copilot site columns, there's my target audience site column. I can jump into here and uh, let's just expand this a little bit so that we can see the full list here. We could then um, say add another target audience. We'll hit OK. We'll click OK. And now what's going to happen is if I'm in policies and I go edit and grid view and I'll jump in here, you can see that I've got that new value that's automatically been made available to me. And then if I go back into products, you can see that if I go edit and grid view, we'll be able to see that I've got that new value that I've added in that site column choice option list. All right, so that's how we would go about creating a column or a, a metadata column uh, that is reusable in your particular site collection, not just on a list or library in your site. And it just makes things repetitive, reusable, consistent with the values. And then, then we can use that across different lists, different libraries in that site. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.